Hello YouTubers, and today I am going to be reviewing the Witches Familiar set. I would have done the Coal Hill School set first, but my B&M doesn't currently have them in yet. So, but they did have this, so I'm reviewing this today. Now, this is definitely the less exciting of the two Usax. Uh, most people generally aren't that fussed on it. So, we'll get on with this, and to be honest, I'm going to talk about um, the packaging very, very quickly. Quite nice uh, backdrop of uh, Scarrow there, and they've given it a sort of purpley tinge and red in other sections. It is uh, quite nice. There aren't really any Easter eggs in this one compared to other ones. And on the back of the box, um, we just get information about the Witch's Familiar. It's a shame that uh, there's no information about uh, Davros, is um, Julian Bleach as Davros. You know, concerning maybe his chair or something like that, but here he is nonetheless. And there are a few inaccuracies uh, right off the back uh, on this one. There's one mean one, and that is his head, which I am trying to get in focus. Well, I guess we won't song or something. I'm going to move it closer. But the main issue is with his head is that it's wrong. Unfortunately. Because this reuses the exact same head. In fact, the same figure is exactly the same in terms of sculpting as the original. Which is incorrect because uh, Julian Bleach, who played Davros in... Uh, Journey's Ending, School on Earth, and which is familiar, and The Magician's Apprentice. When he played it in 2015, and The Magician's Apprentice, and which is familiar, he had a completely different mask, which looked a lot better, actually. It was made to look more like Ty Malloy's mask, which obviously they haven't done here. I wasn't expecting them to do it. Though for some reason, they've given it a really light um, tone on the head, which just makes it look a bit... I don't know, a little bit odd. It doesn't look as bad as in the pictures. In the pictures, it looked uh, almost grey. It actually looks darker on camera than it actually is in real life. Something nice that they have done is actually um, the chair itself. They've actually painted it more of a jet black uh, colour, but also they've made the hemispheres a more uh, vibrant silver. If I actually grab an original release, and yes, this thing has been sitting on a shelf for a decade. <laughs> I'm not joking. He kind of looks like a, a Destiny Tavros right now. But uh, if we take a bit that isn't so dusky at the back here, you can see that this original release here has definitely got more of a matte uh, finish to it compared to this one. Also, uh, the base, the fender as well. This one's more of a metallic finish, where this one is just, again, just a black, a matte black, almost grey colour. But yeah, you can certainly, you know, tell that there is a difference uh, between the two. God, he is he is just thicker dusk. I, I should have dusked him, but to be honest, I thought he actually looks a bit cool with this, with these cobwebs on there, so I'm actually going to put him back uh, later on on the shelf like that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. I do actually prefer this one just because of uh, the chair being more of that, you know, more of a jet black colour and the hemispheres being more shiny, more vibrant, kind of like Terry Malloy's and Michael Wisher's chair. Uh, just being, you know, just makes it stand out. So the Davros, I would say if you didn't get the original release, this one is actually pretty, you know, is actually slightly better in my opinion. I actually do prefer it, despite the inaccuracies uh, with the eggs. I mean, to be honest... It doesn't really bother me that much, but it would have been just nice if they had have uh, done that. Now, the 12th Doctor. This is just a repaint. And, to be honest, for the most part, it's fi fine. I haven't really got much to say on this one. Uh, we've got the T-shirts. Which, to be honest, you can't really see much of uh, the pattern in there. It's kind of very vague. It almost looks like it's one colour on camera, but trust me, it isn't. The main difference is also, obviously, uh, ooh, the trousers. Now, the trousers are the trousers that uh, I think he got from TK Maxx. 
Peter Capaldi shows on PK Max, and the only reason he chose them is because they look a bit Hartnell slash Trouton esque. And yeah, they're quite nice. The red lining is thankfully still here, and it is actually red. There's a main problem though. Uh, the hair is a really dark colour, and it shouldn't be this. Why is it this dark colour? It's almost black. I mean, you can see it's grey, but it should really be, you know, it should be painted white or, you know, a very light grey, and then with sheens of grey or white in there, and it just really lets it down because it was so close to being good. But overall, this set is kind of just like, meh, all right. It's not amazing. If you do, I'll put it this way, if you haven't made up your mind already about this set, if you don't have uh, the original Duel and Bleach Davros release thing, yeah, pick this up. But otherwise, I'd say easily pass on it, because really there's just not a lot to it.